Okay, now we're going to take a look at step um, number three, but radio calibration, which is right here. But before we get started with radio calibration, we're going to we're going to need to check and make sure the channels are going in the right direction. So, server reversing and DXE. Okay. So, uh, just as it shows in this picture, uh, we're going to basically turn the um, hold the left and right gimbal sticks to the up inside position as shown. And actually, let's make sure too um, that we have our under in the mission planner. We want to have initial setup. Let's just show you here: flight data, initial setup, mandatory hardware, and then radio calibration. So right here, once I have my radio connected, I can see that I have. Um, I'm getting feedback on these green bars when I move the sticks. So um, real quickly, you can see here if I move this stick up, this throttle, as I move the stick up, the green bar goes up. And then as I move the yaw to the right, it goes to the right. And if I move the yaw to the left, it goes to the left. Now if I put pitch up, now it actually is showing down. If I pitch down, it goes up, which this is reverse, I would want to change that. And then roll is to the right and then to the left, so roll is good. I mean, roll is good, but I need to change pitch. Okay, so to do that, we're going to go back to here, and we're going to basically do what that says here. So I'm going to turn off the remote, just like this. Let me... <clears throat> okay, so to enter server reversing, we'll start out with our remote. Let me open up this. I'm going to like make it a little bigger. Okay, so the server reversing... Basically, the way we access it is by turning on the remote by holding these two sticks up. Um, <clears throat> the two gimbal sticks, the upper inside position, just like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is hold these two sticks like this and turn it on. I'm going to hear that tone, and we're, we're now in servo reversing. Okay, so just as a quick overview, when I move this stick to the left and right, it's going to change channels. So watch the beep. So it says... Three flashes, one, two, three, that's going to correspond to channel three. Right, so uh, as I go over, it's going to go all the way up to each channel. Right, and then, um, so this is channel one, for example, and if I go up and down, it's going to go red, which means reverse, orange means normal. Okay, and then as far as the channels go, channel one is throttle, channel two is aileron, channel 3 is elevator, and channel 4 is rudder. <clears throat> so as I noticed earlier in the video, we pitch was opposite. Now pitch corresponds to channel 3, which is elevator. Right? When we plug in the receiver, it's in the elevator port. So what we're going to do is go to channel 3, we got 1, or this is 2, I guess, 1, 2, and then 3, and oh, it looks like I already reversed it, right? So if it was reversed, it would be red here. One, two, three. I'm going to change it to normal. Okay. So we see three beeps, three flashes, and it's orange, meaning that it's the normal direction. So now what I'm going to do is just turn this off by turning the off switch here. And now what I'm going to do is go into the mission planner and make sure that my channels are correct. So I have mission planner open. I'm connected to my board. I go to initial setup. Mandatory hardware radio calibration. Make sure to turn your remote on. And we'll see those green bars pop up. So as I move the throttle up, it increases the green bar. And now we're checking pitch. As I pitch up, it the green bar goes up. So just to review that here. As I pitch up, the pitch goes up. As I pitch down, the pitch goes goes down. Okay, so now I'm ready to do my radio calibration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the radio calibration. Actually, let's let me show you back to the instruction manual. We're going to go to radio calibration page, which is right here. All right, so we're going to calibrate radio. Um, yep. Okay. I'm going to click the little green button right here, which is calibrate radio. Bam. It says ensure your transmitter is on and the receiver is powered and connected. Ensure your motor does not have power. Uh, power no props, right? So as you can see, mine does not have any props on. 
It's also not powered by the battery either. It's just being powered through USB. I'm going to press OK. So now it says click OK and move all the RC sticks and their switches to their extreme positions so the red bar hits the limits. So now I'm going to press OK. And I can see these red bars pop up. So I'm just going to, well, I'll just show you on the screen here. I'm just going to move these to their extents by just going, moving the gimbals to the extents. Just like that. Just double check it here one more time. And that's it. Now you can also check the sticks as well because we'll be using this stick to change our flight modes. We could also, I think this one works on here too. Nope. I don't know if I can. We can check that. Here, these are our low rates. These aren't going to do anything. Our binds also not going to do anything. And our throttle, this is our throttle cut switch up in the back. We have our trainer, also doesn't do anything. Okay, so. That's what's going to show up. That's our rate of calibration. Let's see. So we move the sticks to the ends um, when the red bar is roll pitch and radio 5. Yeah. When the red bar is for roll pitch and throttle yaw and radio 5, maybe sometimes 6 and 7 and 8 are set to the minimum and maximum positions. We'll click OK and then when done. All right, so we're done. All right, click when done. And now ensure all your sticks are centered and throttles down. So I'm going to want to put throttle down. You can see the green bar go down. That's okay. And now it's going to give me the the values for each of those channels. <clears throat> okay. That's okay. All right. So now mission planner will show a summary. We just got that. Um, great. And we're good to go. So that's it for radio calibration. Step C. That's it. We're done.